There's a job lot of 11 as is drills. Got uh, six DeWalt's, two rigids in here, three uh, sort of no name brand, one skill, one pro pulse, one black and decker. So when I bought these, I figured no one in their right mind would be selling off 11 perfectly good drills for a hundred bucks. Which was good for me. That would give me a good, you know, series of videos for, uh, possibly from this. There were even different types of drills in this batch too. This one here, it's a drywall drill. This uh, round part right here, this collar, leans up against the drywall. And right here, if you'll see, you'll see the uh, screw head pushes in. The uh, depth to which that goes in is adjustable with this. But it'll push the uh, screw in just enough so you're not hitting it with the, uh, you know, when you're uh, mudding the uh, drywall. Which brings us to the epic fail part of the video. Now, I knew no one would sell perfectly, you know, 11 perfectly good drills for 100 bucks, Right? Makes sense, right? They, there's got to be something wrong with a couple of them. Here's the issue. All of them do that. They all work perfectly. Haven't found anything in the uh, little cursory examination I did. Maybe some of them will need brushes or something. Who knows? But uh, I guess the uh, drills just became a uh, restoration series. And here we are. So instead of this being a uh, series of me fixing a bunch of drills, I've decided to make a lemonade. So uh, this is going to be me trying to restore these drills to somewhat good condition using uh, different uh, cleaners. Today we're going to be trying out this stuff right here, crud cutter. See how good it works. First off, let's just make sure this drill is still working. And works okay. Okay, gonna just be using ordinary paper towel to apply it. Gonna try the uh, cord first. So looks like it's doing a decent job, but I mean the cord is a little bit wet from uh, the uh, cleaning. We'll see how good it dries. I'm gonna use this toothbrush to uh, try to clean the plug here. Looks a little bit better. Gonna try a little bit here. Of course, I am gonna let this fully dry before I plug this back in to test it. Might need a harder brush for uh, whatever this is. Gonna try leaving some right here to soak in, see what happens. It's actually doing a decent job on this permanent marker right here.
That's pretty good actually. Of course we haven't hit the worst of the uh, grime yet. Now this stuff is supposed to be 100% safe to, to use, non-toxic or something. However, I'm still going to wear gloves just in case. Let's see if I can show you guys. Okay, going to try the uh, wife's toothbrush. This is working pretty good actually. I am being careful not to make sure the brush is wet when I go over this part right here. Don't want anything dripping inside the uh, motor. It's not doing a half bad job so far. That's what we started with. This is what we got right now. Let's try this piece of the uh, top now. Not sure why this one particular bit of Sharpie right here doesn't want to come off. Just notice there's a level on this right here. I think I'm going to break out the uh, big guns for this. Okay, I've turned on the uh, extractor fan here, just in case. Uh, sorry for any noise, I'll try to uh, cut it out and post somehow. But uh, hey, got the kits to brush now. See how this works. This one's a uh, sonic toothbrush. This one was just normal rotating bristles. Looks like this guy may need a little bit more cleaning. Try the uh, normal toothbrush for this. With the uh, rotating one, rather. Okay. So, let's test the uh, sonic toothbrush on this guy here. This one's got a couple of settings on it. And the only way to get back to the uh, high setting is to toggle all the way through. That wasn't a good idea. Oh yeah, this one's also a uh, keyless chuck on this one here. Just gonna put a uh, gonna layer this thing here with a bunch of crud cutter. Let it sit for a bit. 
and come back to it see what happens got to make sure we uh, none of it drips inside the uh, motor though okay so I'm just gonna leave like a big layer of this stuff on here while I go have dinner and uh, we'll come back see what happens Okay, that's it. Gonna go wash this lid and these uh, brushes out and uh, I'll see you after dinner. Okay, it's actually been about an hour and a half. Gonna use 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol to uh, clean up a bit. Looks like there's some gunky stuff. Not exactly sure what this is, but... It's almost as if someone packed chewing gum at the head of this thing. Okay, that's me finished with this for tonight. It's not immaculate, not by any means, but it's better than it was before. A lot better, I think. Maybe I'll uh, test another cleaner on it tomorrow, or we'll try a different cleaner and a different drill, compare them up. Still got this uh, gunk right here. That one I'll just scrape off tomorrow. Otherwise, for a work drill, it's okay. Condition-wise, at least. Hey, so it's the uh, next day and just for a little uh, bonus content Just gonna see how well this half chewed up uh, knockoff magic eraser does at uh, getting rid of the uh, the rest of this uh, grime here Okay, Magic Eraser's basically been chewed up at this point, and it's a little bit better, but I think the uh, crud cutter did most of the uh, heavy lifting with this one here. This one I don't really think did anything. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.